Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well uh, Pisces Rising weekly general tarot reading January 24th up until January 30th, uh, 2022. And uh, if you do want to skip the draw, guys, and you want to jump right away into the reading, you can definitely do that using the timestamps into the description down below. Uh, other than that, uh, should you enjoy the content here and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe and as well hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads nor a live streams as well. Right, so with that being said, jumping right away to the uh, Pisces draw and the first card for you Pisces, that is going to be the death card. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the uh, Knight of Pentacles, uh, followed by the second card, uh, the third card, I'm sorry, of your spread, which stands as Temperance. Uh, afterwards, we do have uh, the Star, and uh, the last card of your spread, that is going to be the Hanged Man. Wow, quite, that will be quite of an, an important week for you. Uh, Pivotal as well, we have a lot of Major Arcana, but I do wish to draw one more card for the Knights of Pentacles here, so I will be able to tell you a little bit more about this individual and the card for them, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles, okay? So, uh, that card. All right. So, with that being said, let's jump right away into the uh, reading itself. All right, guys. So, you can see your spread on the screen here. And, man, boy, oh, boy, I don't know where to begin from. Uh, but uh, we do have uh, quite of an important week with a person who is going to play a significant role for you, uh, probably into your future, not just only into your week. And we do have that individual here, Knight of Pentacles with Five of Pentacles. Now that person could be, um, I would say anybody, it could be person you know, or somebody brand new, very possible. That could be uh, somebody you already know. In fact, the Knights of Pentacles, when it comes to love and relationship, should people were single, uh, it does speaks about a jumping on the uh, old branches of love which um, <clears throat> could speak about a how do you call it um, making the wrong rights uh, what I'm trying to say here is that if you have failed or and under you I mean both of you you have failed back in the past like a couple of years ago or maybe 10 years ago who know to end up together now you definitely have the chance to do so and uh, throughout the week according to the cards at least you Pisces are to make the heavy lifting so that to happen but the thing that from your point of view it's not going to feel that way at all and uh, we are starting up here the week with the death card now by its own we cannot say really any much of a specifics about the death card because the card it is just a change right but the specific the uh, conditions under that change happen they are a natural conditions what i mean it is that should something strive to walk away from you at the start of the week it means that you can no longer make any use of that thing may that be relationship or may that be career uh, for example should you happen to be um, laid off from work at the start of this week it means that you can no longer grow into that working fact most likely the business that is laying you off is in a uh, deep trouble and they are to close very very soon so you have nothing to gain from it any longer and same thing is about relationship as well should your um, partner decides to walk away from you it means that your partner cannot give you anything anymore especially marriage especially uh, engagement for example if that is something that you are striving for uh, that could be the severe uh, manifestation of the death card the other way that can manifest is changing of habits and as well points of view uh, where uh, the one who is under the energy of the death card, in this case you Pisces, realize that some of your habits and some of your beliefs and views, they no longer serve you anymore in any benign way and therefore they need to be readopted. You need to let go of them and replace them with now more in tune, more, uh, how can I, adaptive uh, views, habits and as well perceptions for as the uh, situation 
situation is that you are finding yourself at either career wise or either relationship in any case the death card here at the start of the week it means that some things are no longer going to be present however they are to be replaced with a new things which are to be reciprocal one job replaced with another one relationship replaced with another one view replaced with another which the new that is to replace the old will have much greater potential than the old ever had and that is going to give the foundation of the appearance of the knight of pentacles which is catalyzed with the five of pentacles now that catalyst uh, tells us a lot uh, first of all that it tells us it is that the lifestyle you has is you have i'm sorry is nothing alike that this individual have as a lifestyle in fact uh, with the five of pentacles they have quite a lot of problems right now probably problems of all front uh it's likely that their career isn't going on as planned their romantic life isn't going on as planned as well uh, in, uh their family life isn't going on as planned it's just nothing goes as planned having that elemental dignity however um once they do step out for you uh, into your environment, you are to see that these people, they if they had done something wrong against you uh, in or towards you in the past, they would very much would love to to mend that to to uh, reprimand it in any way or to repair it i'm sorry uh in any way these people by a definition they are very very simple whenever they want something they straight away say what they want uh, whatever they are to uh initiate something again they are it's just they are making their plans on display for everybody to know and therefore they are very genuine and, and honest individuals uh and also <clears throat> they are people who very well know what they want here the problem with this one it is that as they as he or she won't knows what they want they don't know how to get there in fact they tried and for what it seems from the cards they miserably failed in one or another way but now as uh, they are stepping up with uh, for you or with you into your environment maybe the partnership in between you two could form and in fact according to these cards is going to form something that is going to work for both of you either business relationship or a just a friendship and we can see that into the middle of the week here with uh, the temperance so with that card uh the interaction in between you two is going to be very genuine and very honest nobody is going to try to hide the math the, the the fact or to mask the fact that at this stage you are a bit incompatible with one another not in uh wishes it is like not with goals but with with standing and as well with approach with um not anticipation but expectations okay so you are very different into that uh, into that field like i said there is a, a differences in the lifestyle of both of you uh however uh you will have the and i don't know the english word here guys mm, it's not audacity um I will use this one you have the awareness that nobody is perfect and people are different right i mean you can't expect that somebody is going to be like you or alike you and thus you are going to grow a solidarity and compassion toward one another and although you are going to have a different opinions you both are going to have respect to each other to each other's opinion which is going to open up for some deliberations and as well conversations if you will what is going to be the best approach what is going to be the right action here for example you have differences uh, into what you want for both of you should that be about relationship but this will open up a the table for negotiation what is something that is which you both and that way you are to find the uh the correct approach for both of you there are many approaches which are correct but one or two works for both of you and you are about to discover that either for business uh, endeavor or either for a love manifestation why not and the result of all that uh, is going to lead you to the middle of the week with the star card 
which uh, pretty much promises that everything is going to go as smooth as possible. In fact, uh, that card tells us a lot for the week and uh, where that individual is going to show up. That individual is going to show up at the uh, field of your life that you consider the worst. If you do consider the worst your romantic life right now, then that is go that Knights of Pentacles is going to be a romantic interest. If you do consider your uh, career the worst field in your life, then that individual is going to uh, show up into your career, probably with business proposition or just a helping hand that can truly be a force to be reckoned with when it comes to you pushing with your uh with your project in either way uh <clears throat> as the manifestation of this person uh the problems that you are experiencing into this field that you consider the worst they are simply going to be uh over with because that's how the star card stands and from there depending on the uh, on the field the star card branches into a unfolding love when it comes to relationships meaning that you and this person are going to start growing into love with one another gradually though this isn't going to be a one night thing and uh, as it comes to a uh, career the star card branches into a uh, accomplishments of ideals and standards so you will have what you want to have the way at that stage that you want to have it and not just only that but as well you will see how your career is to develop into the future so you will have a foresight for what is to come and uh, from there at the end of the week you are reaching a um I don't know how to put it into words, probably a break point. And under a break point, I mean that you have done your part for that stage and now you have to wait for the new stage to come about. The hangman, it's a, it's a card showing up that you did the most you could and now it's time for you to wait for the circumstances to change. And uh, should you face any challenges at that particular stage and those challenges you whatever you do you cannot uh, you cannot make any progress into them maybe it's time for you to step down for a moment or for a week or two maybe for a month as well because the breakthrough through uh through hangman happens only with patience and only with one being passive uh the breakthrough under the hangman it literally solves itself <clears throat> So if you are waiting or rather like if you are hoping for some circumstances that will allow you to grow further into your love life or into your career life, at the end of the week, you alone are going to see that those circumstances cannot be forced. You just have to wait for them to, uh, to take place. And so should you find yourself in a certain storm at the end of the week, figuratively speaking, rest assured the skies darken are going to be set into light again and the only thing you got to do is just enjoy your moments with the knights of pentacles and wait that's that's literally all so you all can so you alone can see that the hangman is not that bad that that bad of a card it's simultaneously a, a a test of faith and as well a breakthrough it's a test of faith testing you how patient you are to have what you want and it's a breakthrough because what you want or the circumstances to get what you want are going to resolve themselves and happen on their own accord so with that being said pisces this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye